Hey guys, welcome to another arm of video, and in this one I want to talk about an analysis of Arma's artificial intelligence. So right now, uh, we're a two-man sniper team, and we are set up on this hill here. And as you can see, my guy is already engaging at a pretty unrealistic range with a suppressed M4. I'm not sure why he's doing that, and now he's just going to kind of run off into the wilderness, maybe. Or we'll face that direction. Or maybe we'll get up and look towards this direction. Now, mind you, he was just engaging targets here, so he knows that this area is active. But... No. He was <laughs> looking that way for some reason. Alright, cool. Alright, so Armin does a lot of things right. Uh, it has rocket launchers, uh, tanks, vehicles, uh, infantry, huge open maps and draw distances. Uh, it does a lot of things that are just pretty remarkable and outstanding. The amount of uh, calculations that must occur is pretty mind-boggling. One of the things that it doesn't do right, however, is the artificial intelligence. You can see the environmental effects, the waves, the uh, daylight and a night cycle, the effect of wind on ballistics and individual bullets, that's all amazing and I'm not taking anything away from what Arma has contributed to the Milsim community. It's pretty remarkable. But AI, to my understanding, even in Arma 3 is still all hosed up. So we'll do a little demonstration here. And I know this is uh, 500 meters away, these guys, so it's about 9 minutes of angle and I'm just gonna start engaging. Alright, so he just got hit, what are you gonna do? So that guy got down, it's pretty good. guys are just standing out in the open. Why are they standing out in the open and charging towards the threat? No idea. This guy's just standing right in the middle of the open. And I do run much reduced uh, Uh, accuracy settings for the AI, precision specifically, because the AI are just super robots and they snipe you. So right now, the numbers that I'm running yeah, are much lower, it's like 0 .05 precision, and that just gives you a more realistic uh, spread on the uh, on the way that the enemy AI Getting some effective fire now. Back up here. Yeah, so the reduced AI, I strongly encourage you guys to check that out. Makes it a lot funner. And in my opinion, more realistic. Got him. Okay, I probably deserve that. I'm just out here in the open. But, uh,. Ooh, got him on the rifle. This guy should be definitely taking cover. Oh, there he is. Good job. You got you got down. You know, preferably that rock's gonna be much nicer cover, but alright. Wow, headshot. Five hundred meters. Nice. Somebody's got a machine gun out there, it seems like. 
Oh, there is. Pretty sure that's a PKM there. So let's see what this guy does if I take a sniper shot at him. He just stands there. Yep, don't take cover, it's alright. Oh, now I'm getting some effect fire again. Um, by the way, this is not good sniper tactics. Just <laughs> taking, <laughs> taking 20 shots. But I am within a, an effective range, and they are actually outside of their effective range. So I'm maybe not so bad. Nice get shot there. So why would you charge a sniper like this? All your buddies are dying around you and you are charging down the hill in a s suicidal attack. <laughs> These guys must be either really determined or just like the hotties or something. Ah, oh, nice leg shot. Dude, get behind cover. There's a car. There's a building right there. No, I'll just stand out in the open. You know where the fire's coming from, and you still want to go head on. Another gut shot. Alright, so I'm probably overstressing the point here, but basically, <laughs> AI in Arma needs some serious work. I'm sure it's nothing new, but those are my two cents. And, uh,. Part of the reason why I play Ghost Recon is that it has incredible AI. Really cool AI that actually gets behind cover and doesn't stand out in the open for the most part. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.